One of the reasons the last few videos have been focused on maintenance and upgrades is because I have been having trouble finding a replacement belt that would work on this lathe. Being a single speed version of these mini lathes, the belt is considerably longer than the standard sizes that are sold as replacement parts, so some searching had to be done to find one that would work. Since it was such a headache, I decided to put together a relatively short video of not just how to change the belt, but also the modifications that were needed to make it work. What made this process extra tricky is the fact that the original belt doesn't have any markings or indication of what size it is. First, I tried a belt that had roughly the same 5mm metric pitch as the original one, as well as 90 teeth, the same number as the original but it ended up being too long at about an inch longer than the original. It didn't quite mesh correctly on the drive pulley, so I thought it might not be a metric belt after all. Next I tried the closest standard pitch of one fifth of an inch, or what ends up being 5.08 millimeters. I also ordered a shorter belt with only 85 teeth. This one seemed to fit the drive pulley better, but didn't mesh with the headstock pulley. At this point, I ordered another metric belt with a pitch of 5mm and the reduced 85 teeth, as well as a couple matching 5mm pitch drive pulleys. The drive pulleys I, that I found were roughly the same dimensions as the original, but with a much smaller bore. Using the last remaining life of the original belt, I used the lathe to bore out the new pulley to match the diameter of the motor shaft. The two pulleys are a 17 tooth pulley to match the number of teeth on the original. At this point the hole has already been bored larger, as well as a 15 tooth pulley in case I decided I needed more torque later on. The 5mm pitch belt seemed to mesh well with the headstock pulley as well as the new drive pulley, leading me to believe that they were mis mismatched between metric and standard to begin with, and I have no idea what kind of belt was being used. The size of the belt that ended up working is a 5mm pitch, 85 tooth, 9mm wide, 425mm long timing belt. I'm going to put links to the belt and the pulleys in the description. The good news is that now this lathe is fitted with an easy to find standard size belt for the next time it needs replacing. This video is going to go through the belt replacement process as well as the modifications to the drive pulley needed to make it work on this lathe. I didn't have the exact size drill bit and my boring bar is too large for this diameter so I had to do a little extra work to clearance it to the final dimension. The new pulley doesn't have a key slot, but it does have two set screws. Aligning one of them to fit in the existing key slot on the motor shaft should be plenty to keep it from slipping.
Since I had everything loose anyway to tension the new belt, I decided to shave a little bit off the motor mount to allow for some additional upward adjustment. Unfortunately, the belt slips off the pulley when it is rotated, so I had to fit the old faceplate onto the new pulley. The only thing left to do at this point is assemble everything and make sure it works. Finally, after several attempts at finding a new belt and with another modification, I was able to fit the belt that should last a lot longer than the original one, but I also had to fit the motor with a new drive pulley to match the new belt. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. At this point my videos have pretty much been fixing and upgrading this lathe, but the next video is going to be making something pretty cool out of brass and aluminum, so definitely stay tuned.